Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. Rockin' with the best. Y'all heard? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Of a child being born in captivity Scorned, misinformed on her own history Brought up to love her natural enemy Taught to hate herself and despise her own imagery Yeah, so Thank you for joining me In this brand new episode You could be anywhere around the world right now And you decided to Rock with your boy, uh huh. Now, why you rocking with me? I have no idea, right? But I'm glad you're here, nonetheless. So, let's get right into it. Um, I got an email from a guy today, and he was asking me, "What is the whole premise behind the whole hip hop sales coach, humble hip hop sales coach thing?" And I ain't clowning you, homie, but um. I guess it's a legitimate question. You know, what is the whole thing about hip hop sales and coaching have to do with one of an, one of another? So I'll go into it like this. Um, growing up in New York, the the first meaning behind hip hop, the the original acronym for hip hop was Higher Infinite Power Healing Our People. I'll repeat that. Higher infinite power healing our people. And then, of course, when the sales come in, the sales will be me teaching you how to sell your product or service in a fun and energetic way, you know? So that's where I have over 15 years of sales experience. So that's where I'm going to come in. I'm going to teach you guys sales. So that makes me a coach, you know, coach like basic training, you know, football, whatever, you know. Because I have a very, very competitive spirit. And I want you guys to have a very competitive spirit also. So you can take down the competition. You heard? So now the humble part comes in. It's basically whenever you know that you're really, really, really good at something. You want to be humble. Because if you're not humble, you get blinded by your ego. You become extremely arrogant you know, narcissistic, and that can cloud your judgment into seeing the next project ahead of you because it, you're, you're basically just swimming in your own glory. I definitely put myself in a position to be more humble because I know my capabilities. I know my gifts. I know that I can persuade a person without them knowing that I persuaded them to do it. You know, that's like persuading someone to do something that they normally wouldn't do. And after they do it, you'd be like, ha, 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 you didn't even know I made you do that, right? Ha, I just use my, my skill sales tactics on you. You didn't, you didn't even see it coming, did you? Ha, ha, ha. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to piss that other person off, right? You're going to be like, oh, man, this guy's a fucking jerk off. He's a jag off. Right. I don't want to mess with him no more. So I'm, I'm not I'm not about that, man. You know, all that ego and shit like that. Nah, I don't need all that. I don't need all that, man. I just I just want to, you know, be able to share with you guys some of these some of this information that I have in tactics and skills and secrets that I know. So your business could be on and pop because in reality, no business can sustain itself without some type of sales somebody in that organization better know how to sell because if they don't know how to sell that business is doomed period when you look at home shopping network and i always recommend this to some people that want to learn sales from me, which I, right now I don't have the time to teach people one-on-one, -on -one, but look out in the future because I will be putting together uh, some sales courses so you can learn sales and you can actually train people to learn sales through these courses. So just be on the lookout for that. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, that's something that I've been getting a lot of requests for and I 
think I might go ahead and put something out like that. But anyway, you need to know sales because how else are you going to sell your products? Now, Home Shopping Network, my favorite is QVC. QVC is awesome because, you know, they're constantly selling stuff. That's like a 24-hour, 7-day-a-week selling machine station, right? All they do is sell products, and they do it in such a smooth and finesseful way. They're pushy. They're aggressive with it. Let's not get it twisted. But they're, they're so experienced at what they do, it doesn't come across pushy. And it doesn't come across aggressive. They know exactly what to do. They'll have people call in with a couple of testimonials, which is a testimonial, right? That's all that is. It's just a testimonial. Hey, have you ever bought this product? Why don't you call in? 1-800-555-1234. Call us and tell us how you like the product. And they, then they have someone call in and talk about their experience with the product and what they loved about the product and what they loved about the creator of the product all that is is a damn testimonial that's it it's just an elaborate testimonial that's being listened to while you're watching the announcer or the presenter of that product you know showcase the product right in front of you so they're using the auditory senses right you're hearing and they're using the visual senses that you're actually watching on the screen and they'll have the little track light putting little glares and shines on whatever you know the product is especially for jewelry they can make the smallest wristwatch look like a goddamn rolex right am i am, am i lying right no i'm tiger but that is, you know, sales. That is sales in a nutshell. If you ever really, really want to learn some cool little fundamentals now, you have to know what you're looking for. When you're watching QVC and HSN and other stations like that, you know, the stations that sell Ginsu knives or whatever like that. But even in media, which I have a lot of good friends in media, and I coach a lot of celebrities on how to take their brand to the next level because at the end of the day, when the label drops them, they have to have something to sustain their career. Once that income has dissipated from the major label, they need to be able to continue their career and sustain their career and take it to the next level without a label so that's where i come in with the celebrities i teach them how to build their personal brand and take it to the next level so they constantly have some money generating machine bringing in some of that cash because they already got the notoriety they already had the popularity but what do they do now now that they have that you know so Again, that, this is one of the reasons why I'm going to be putting together a course. Um, definitely be on the lookout for that. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, I'm not politically correct, you know, so you may hear a couple of swear words in there, a couple of, you know, so it might not be for the babies right now, the kids, but, you know, for the adults and if you want to train your staff into being able to sell the pr your products and services much better th this will be the course for you okay so um yeah so that's where you get the you know check out qvc check out hsn you know even uh television programming right in the media when they're about to come out with a show they take some of the juiciest parts of that show and they want to invoke emotion invoking emotion out of the person on the other side because we have to remember anytime you're watching a movie a television show or uh, a preview before a movie that is a one-way channel and what does that mean what is a one-way channel that means they can speak to you but you can't speak to them so you're on the receiving end and they're the ones 
pushing out their propaganda to you. Now, what happens when you turn that seat around and you're sitting on the other side of the table? What happens when you have that dope product or you have that dope service and it's time for you to push that product or service to a new potential customer, a new client or a bunch of clients at once? How, what does that look like? You know, it's like a tenant versus a landlord. What does that look like? It's like an employee and a business owner. What happens when the, the chairs switch? What happens when you're sitting on the other side now and you're the business owner and you have employees? What does that look like? And that's where I come in. This is where I'm going to teach you guys and show you guys some very cool, easy to apply tactics and strategies that's gonna keep your business flowing and you'll be able to use it wherever you go. Because no matter how many businesses I started, and I've had many businesses, I've had a shrimp and lobster importing business. I was bringing in shrimp and lobster from Honduras and Peru. Um, I had a record label at one time. Uh, Currently, I have a web designing business. I, I, I had so many other businesses going on. Every business that I was in, I needed to apply some type of sales negotiating skills to the platform. I couldn't escape it. No matter what I did, I could not escape sales and negotiations. So those two are married to each other. Once you learn one, it's gonna be very easy for you to learn the other one, especially negotiating. Because negotiating, that's when it becomes like chess. And if you ever played chess before, you understand that you cannot enter a game of chess with emotions. You're sitting across from that other person with no emotions at all. And whatever move that person makes, you're strategically placing your pawns, your kings, your bishops, into certain spots to win that's it nothing more nothing less when you sit down to play a game of chess you sit down to win and that is what negotiating is negotiating is all about winning who can win how can you leverage your pieces to strike when the time is right for you to win but unlike chess we can make with a little bit of sale seasoning to it right we can give the opposing side the illusion of them winning like giving them a little bit of a nugget to feel like they won but when you the one that took the whole cake you left them a crumb these are dirty little secrets of sales and negotiating that i will be teaching you throughout the course and definitely keep in touch with me keep subscribe to this channel so you know exactly when that course comes out because it's going to be off the meat rack i'm gonna let you know right now it's going to be off the chain it's going to be like a sales course you have never ever experienced in your life this ain't no shirt and tie sales course i have to be proper because corporate might be looking at me there's no corporate over my head i am corporate so i, I can let you guys know the real deal the dirty down low dirty filthy tricks of the game things that they don't tell you when you're in sales training things that they won't tell you because they're using those tactics against you to get you to do you ever wonder why there's a sales team and then a sales manager and then there's a general sales manager because they are sitting on information that they don't want their sales team to know because they're using different tactics on them. Different tactics on you. By the time I'm done showing you, you'll be able to use this in any country, any state, anywhere around the world to sell your products or services, period. I'll give you an example how sales have worked for me. I began developing websites. I've, now, mind you, I've only been developing websites for myself um, 
you know, for a little while, but it was on a totally different platform. When I got introduced to the WordPress platform, I was like, Eureka, this is it. This is where I need to be, right? And I said, man, this is, this is gonna be awesome. I know I, I would be able to learn it, you know, in due time. Now, I started designing websites on WordPress February 2016. I got my first client February 2016. Before I even designed one website on WordPress, I've already solidified and sealed the deal for a client on recurring payments, okay? Every month, they pay me a fee to maintain their website and design their website. Now, you have to ask yourself, how did you get a client and you didn't even design a website on WordPress? Sales, baby. Sales. Once you know how to sell, once you know how to sell, you'll be able to sell anything without showing anything. Now, of course, we're gonna do this ethically, right? We, we're not trying to rip nobody off. We're not trying to be no, no five card Molly hustler. We're not, we're, we're, not, we're not those type of people. We're not hustling anybody out of money and ripping people off. We're positioning our products and our services and our brand in, in an arena where it can get the most out of it. We can capitalize off of our brand to its highest potential. If you can get a thousand dollars from a client, I will show you how to get $900 from the client, leave a hundred dollars on the table. So when you come back, you can get an additional $900. These are the kind of tactics I'm going to show you because a lot of times we want to take everything off the table and don't leave anything. And sometimes leaving a little bit on there can be advantageous to us for us to come back and grab even more money than before. So now you just made, you know, you made a $900 sale at one time, but it really turns out to be an $1,800 sale versus you get a $1,000 sale and never get it another sale from that person again. So if you guys have any questions, again, I really appreciate you guys joining me. I love your comments. I love the feedback that you give me. Um, you know, share this with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed because we are gonna do some amazing things. This is our time. Welcome to the new black renaissance of business. We taking over this shit. Y'all heard?